This is USBI News, your Virgin Islands connection. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for USBI News. I'm Emily Matson. The weekly news conference from Government House Monday shared updates on COVID-19 and other health news re related news in the territory. The state of COVID is fairly good right now, including no COVID cases in any USBI hospitals. That's according to the VI Department of Health. However, the territory is on alert for the latest COVID variant, BA2. USVI News' Ali Bourne reports. Emily, we are still seeing low numbers of COVID-19 in the territory. The Department of Health announced the latest numbers, which include 40 active cases throughout the USVI, 28 on St. Croix, 11 on St. Thomas, and one on St. John. And an update on the COVID variant BA2. The Department of Health says that it still hasn't been detected here in the territory, but it's not a matter of if it will get here. It's a matter of when. Update on the BA2 variant. There is still no evidence of the BA2 in the VI with the available data today. However, we have submitted 14 sequencing samples last week that are still pending results. We will continue to inform you if there is a change. Note that BA2 now accounts for a third of all cases on the mainland. Thus, it is not a matter of when, is, excuse me, it is a matter of when, not if. And another note on COVID, Government House reminds the public that business owners still have an opportunity to require if masks are worn inside their businesses or not. For more information and updates on COVID, you could reach out to the Department of Health. In St. Thomas, Ali Bourne Vanek, USVI News. Virgin Islands native Aaliyah Boston and the South Carolina Gamecocks are heading to the Final Four. Gamecocks are becoming a staple in the Final Four. They'll be there for the fourth time. They crushed Creighton 80-50 to in the Elite Eight over the weekend, again advancing to the Final Four where they secured a spot and will play Stanford. It's going to be a good game and a tough game against the second-seeded Stanford women's basketball team. Boston once again had a great game during this March Madness tournament, scoring 19 points against Creighton. And the team itself dominated defensively, which is great news going into the big game against Stanford this week. South Carolina is reaching its second straight final. The game is set for this Saturday, April 2nd in Minneapolis. Congratulations to Boston and the team as they head to the biggest stage in women's basketball. We are all rooting for you, Aaliyah, in the VI. The 40th annual St. Thomas International Regatta set sail this weekend for an exciting sailing action in the territory after several days on the sea with gusts up to 25 to 30 knots five teams emerged as winners taking those top spots include team fox blitz chili pepper bill t and total recall nearly 50 boats with sailors hailing from the usbi caribbean u.s mainland and europe participated in the st thomas international regatta we want to get you the very latest now on the war in Ukraine. The White House is trying to walk back comments President Biden made last week about seeking regime change in Russia. Speaking in Warsaw, Poland, Mr. Biden made waves when he said Russian President Vladimir Putin, quote, cannot remain in power, end quote. The president had used the trip to highlight European unity following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, announcing new sanctions and a plan to reduce Europe's reliance on Russian energy. Ukraine's president signaled he's ready to accept neutrality to help restore peace, and some Russian demands are now on the table that Ukraine will remain free of nuclear weapons. One Ukrainian military official believes Russia is trying to split the country in two, much like a North and South Korea. The first full-fledged Oscar ceremony in two years had its share of memorable moments from onstage surprises to first-time winners. But a confrontation between Will Smith and Chris Rock Double show. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith...
So that smack came moments after the comedian told a joke about Smith's wife, Jada, who suffers from alopecia, which is hair loss. Smith later apologized to the Academy and his fellow nominees during his Best Actor acceptance speech for King Richard. And while Hollywood's biggest night of the year was rocked by that intense exchange, there are also some other history-making moments worth talking about for the first time ever. The show featured three hosts, Regina Hall, Wanda Sykes, and Amy Schumer. Coda took home the biggest prize of the night, Best Picture. It's the first time a movie released on a streaming platform took home the coveted statue. Ariana Dubois also made history for her role as Anita in West Side Story. She became the first LGBTQ woman of color to win Best Supporting Actress. In Puerto Rico this year, Liberty Puerto Rico is focusing on new strategies to support women in honor of International Women's Month, breaking stereotypes, gender violence, and creating stars in technology are just a part of their new strategies. Our USBI News, Francis Felix, reports. Breaking with prejudice, gender violence, and creating stars in technology are part of the new strategies of Liberty Puerto Rico to support women talent. This year's Liberty Puerto Rico campaign team is Break the Bias, which focused on eliminating discrimination, stereotypes, and prejudice against women. Liberty was awarded the Textile Equity Award for 2022, which recognized companies with the highest number of job advertisements writing in gender-neutral language in 2021. For this year's uh, International Women's Day at uh, Liberty Latin America, that's our um, parent company for Liberty Puerto Rico, we had three main focus that we uh, had for, for celebrating or commemorating the day. So one of them was the theme of this year, which was breaking the bias. The other one was gender-based violence and future technology stars. So breaking the bias, and this was this year's post, refers to those um, positions or um, those jobs that are normally thought of as uh, for male employees uh, and, and they're ta being taken over by female um, employees. Unfortunately, in November of 2019, we lost an employee of ours uh, to a terrible act of, of gender-based violence. Uh, she was murdered by her ex-partner. And when that happened, we started to think, what can the company um, do to use its resources? We um, immediately put all our resources in terms of our media outlets uh, uh, as a mass communication uh, media to the government and the PARE committee. And we, have, we signed an alliance with, their, with uh, PARE committee. And, and so we use our platforms for their educational programs. Future technology stars. In Puerto Rico, we went a step further and we took the program externally. And through our Liberty Foundation and in conjunction with the Eco Exploratorio, we uh, re recruited 125 young women from public schools in Puerto Rico to go through the program. Uh, it actually started uh, on March 9th and they are already uh, going through the session. So we are very hopeful that from that cohort we'll get future technology stars in Puerto Rico. During International Women's Month, Liberty Puerto Rico has made their priority all these efforts and providing education to young women of different public schools in Puerto Rico with the Liberty Foundation. Reporting from Atorrey, Puerto Rico, Frances Félix.